Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. And it is June 12th. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today and have some awesome plans for the weekend. Uh, we got kind of a light day today, so we'll just jump right into it. We just got one he item here on the economic calendar. Previous report back in uh, May oh yeah, on the consumer sentiment uh, came in at 72.3. Forecast supposed to be an uptake of 75. And exceeded that uptick to 78.9. So people are feeling a lot better in June than they were feeling in May about where things are going. So that's a good sign there, obviously, uh, because when people are feeling, when consumer sentiment is much higher, uh, people are out spending, uh, feeling much better, and the economy is doing that much greater as well. So let's kind of jump ahead here, see how the uh, headline news is moving. Stocks are rebounding after a pretty uh, dismal day for them yesterday. The Dow closed down 1,800 points. Uh, so they're trying to rebound a bit, but you know, like they say on the stock market, it looks like it could be a dead cat bouncing, so to speak. Basically, that this could be a tr the trend reversal that we've been talking about, looking for forward. But there's those who want to be bullish and want to keep going, and um, I don't just don't think uh, we're in that set yet. Me personally, uh, they're kind of contemplating, they're kind of reviewing what we've been kind of seeing this week. We're seeing numbers that uh, some. There's been a few states that have kind of shown some in the numbers that a spike on coronavirus uh, up uh, conditions. So that's kind of creating a concern of a possible second wave, especially after the protests, people are in not practicing social distancing. The Fed had their meeting this week, talked about a uh, probably a slower recovery than they anticipated this week. They kind of talked. Now kind of, IMF kind of basically made some comments uh, just today. Uh, kind of similar to that, basically saying that uh, this economy, global economy, has been scarred. Uh, that it probably won't be as it was prior. They're going to come out with their forecast later this month. Uh, but in any case, uh, they too uh, see it um, growing much slowly than uh, what I think a lot, of, what a lot of people were expecting. So. Let's see how this is playing on the bond market. Uh, this is kind of a different format. Um, I'm My subscription ran out in the other service. I'm going to experiment, uh, experiment with some other services and check some other services out. So uh, pardon the changes on these uh, graphs here. But here's the 50-day uh, moving average, 25-day moving average. We're still above it. This one actually has a 2.0. Uh, more, uh, Fannie Mae 2.0, where the previous, they didn't have the 2.0. They only went as low as 2.5. Coupon. What that means is that these are the coupons that are more widely traded that can determine the mortgage rates. So this might be a little bit more, better accurate, a little bit more accurate of a reading than what we were previously seeing as to what's determining the mortgage uh, process. Because right now with the coupons, uh, rates going lower, they're going to a lower coupon, so 2.0 in this instance. So yesterday we had some pretty big swings here. We did close uh, in, uh, a little bit lower than we uh, anticipated uh, today we start off lower and we still are lower than we were currently we're down about five base points from where we left off so as you can see we start off here we have some pretty wild swings uh, we're currently from here to here we're about five basis points uh, so not quite enough for a change in pricing but it depends when lenders came out with the pricing so if they come down here obviously uh, pricing should be a little better versus uh, where we're currently at so again, uh, it depends where we are right now. We're getting some pretty crazy swings, uh, but right now, for the most part, if you look at just this, it will be about mortgage rates should be unchanged. So again, uh, prepare. We could have some volatility uh, today. Um, a lot of it's going to be dictated by the stock market with the movements of it. Uh, as you saw here, we're, uh, these were uh, dictated more from the stock market where they went up and downwards. Uh, they had some fluctuations earlier in the morning. All right, so on the uh broke below its 50-day moving average, right on the 25-day moving average. Uh, I mean, started the morning at 25-day moving average, and right now they're sitting right about the point, point six eight range right now. And uh, again, uh, we're still sitting in a pretty decent range here for the most part. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say right now uh, we're not going to see any un change in pricing from what we saw yesterday in mortgage rates. Uh, we should see... Hopefully it will get some more improvement later on, but we will be going up against a uh, pretty tough resistance. Sorry about that. Uh, right up in here, we've been seeing we've had resistance in the past uh, that could uh, prevent, like a ceiling, uh, could prevent us from going that much further or trying to top that. So just be prepared 
uh, for some uh, direction there. But for the most part, I think the trend line will be going upwards, and I think we could see some uh, better rates uh, in the intermediate term going upwards. Okay. So that's pretty much sort of the wrap for the day. Uh, if you guys are in California looking to buy or refinance, please reach out. Uh, we are taking the applications for refinances. Getting you guys ready, set up for when the, the big day hip happens, when we think that we've reached the lows, uh, we're locking people in. So we are taking loan applications. If you guys are ready, uh, please reach out. So that way we can help you guys out and get you guys the best loan possible with the lowest rate. Direct message me or email me. Uh, information's right there. And if you guys got any other questions, please feel reach. Feel free to reach out. Again, direct message or email are the two best ways to contact me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you uh, in Monday's video. Bye bye.